One of the things that I frequently get asked about moving when we do our, our moves is jewelry and valuables, such as my glass uh, rainbow makers, as well as my jewelry. This is a useful tip, not only if you're moving, but also if you're going on vacation. So for instance, if I was going on vacation, I would use something small like a washcloth because that's all the larger of a size I would need to take just a few items with me. Whereas because I'm moving, I need to pack all of my jewelry. Therefore, I'm going to use a bath towel because in my case, that just happens to be what works best. So let's take a moment here and tell you what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. As you can see here, these usually hang on my wall, but I've already pulled them down and it's now time to pack them up so I can leave. What I like to do for moving is I take all my jewelry and get it set aside. So I've just kind of got an assortment. Things like these that are in boxes that are just like my individual necklaces that are a little nicer, I'll just shut these boxes and pack them away. So I have a few of those up here. But for most of these other items, I don't have boxes for them. They're not as nice of jewelry. So what I do is I take a bath towel and I'm going to use it in half like this, okay? So what I do is I start by laying it out, but you want it open initially because you're going to use essentially that half to lay your jewelry on. So I, I pin my jewelry up so I can just take it out, put the pin back but I'm going to open these because I'm going to need to put pins into it right now. So let's show you. Let's start with just this necklace here, okay? So I would take my piece of jewelry, put my pin in my container, and I would lay my jewelry very nicely on my half of my towel, okay? Then I've got a bracelet here. Now I like to space my jewelry approximately an inch or two apart because we're going to be rolling and you don't want these to like hit each other and get mixed up and like tangled in. And so you just want to lay out your jewelry. Now, some of them like this one doesn't squish in really nicely. So you'll want to lay it wide and it will be okay because as you're rolling, the roll will go over that. So I have a couple of pieces like that. For instance, this necklace doesn't uh, roll super well. The other thing is you know which way you're going to roll. I'm going to be rolling this way So this jewelry rolls easier that way than it would this way So we'll want to lay it down flat like this So you just kind of get an idea here of what your jewelry does Now something big and long like this I would take and fold over and make it kind of space. Like I actually have two of these because um, my grandmother and I went on vacation together when I was nine years old or nine or 10 and we bought matching necklaces and then when she passed away, my aunt gave it to me. So I'll lay those like that. Then what I like to do is do a second layer because I'm, I'm, leave, I'm moving and I have a, I'm taking all of it. So I would then take and do a second layer. Now something like bracelets, I might wait and put those all together on a smaller, uh, smaller piece of towel. Now, ones like this are tricky. See how this is a three layered necklace? You wanna be very careful not to get that all mixed in. And so I would lay this one very carefully and then roll it like that so that it stays put. So see how this double layered, so layer one and layer two is here. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to start rolling our jewelry. Okay, and you'll see now I can add some to it. You know, we're already up to here. So I have all of my jewelry here. So what I'm going to do is just roll it all the way up. 
Now what's convenient is once you've rolled it all the way up, you can take some rubber bands and just stick around the ends. And then you'll see that your jewelry stays nice and tucked in there. So I would then take this and let me show you what I'm going to move this in. This bin has a Brazilian jewelry box that my husband got on his mission uh, for a church. Went back long before I met him. He had brought it home and thought it was pretty. He was going to give it to his mom, uh, but then he saved it for his wife. <laughs> so I got it. So I have that packed in here with some towels and a blanket tucked around it because it's a piano and so it has like a piano bench that I don't want to get ruined. And then I will just take this thing of jewelry and I'll lay it in here. And my next one, I'll tuck it actually will lay straight if I kind of twist like that. I'll lay my next one right here. And if I have a small one, I'll tuck it right here. Otherwise, I will just tuck something, something soft in here. Let's actually show you the crystals. So I do the crystals the same way. So I take a bath towel the long way and I lay it out. And then I open it up. And now these are rainbow makers and I love them. Absolutely love them. Uh, this is, I've moved them all in here. They're actually all over my house. I keep some in the kitchen, some in the living room, some in the dining room, some in my bedroom, some in my office. That way every room I go into makes rainbows. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I moved them all in here. Now I have a variety of different ones. I have you know, some simple ones that are just, you know, a shape. I have some very ornate ones that are very breakable. I have a hummingbird that, you know, its beak here, if I show you on the smaller camera, see its beak, it's very fragile. We'd want to make sure that this one is packed especially carefully. So what I do here, you can see I keep little magnetic hangers with little, hooks on them so I can move them to different rooms and these hook to Venetian blinds really easily and also curtain rods because they're magnetic. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start pulling them down. And the exact same thing I did with my jewelry, I am just going to lay them on my thing here, my towel, like some one like this, I can lay it out. This one's plastic, so it's not quite as breakable as some of my others. This one used to hang in my car, and I don't know if you can see like the little chipped edges. It says I love you on it. All these broken up pieces. Um, my husband got this for me just a few years after our second son was born, and I used to keep it in my car, and it would... Um, it would like bang around though. And so it ended up getting deemed up. And so I had to bring it out of the car because I didn't want it to get ruined. So I started getting these uh, rainbow makers and, and crystals and stuff. When I, uh, well, okay, I've been around in my whole life. My grandmother used to love these. And when she passed away, we were all told that we could go get one of grandma's uh, rainbow makers. And so we did. And then my husband said, you've always liked those, haven't you? I said, oh yes, I've always liked them. Um, and he says, well, why don't you have any? I said, well, you know, I just don't. I just haven't got around to buying them. And so he start, he and the boys started buying these for me every, every year, every fun time. And then like my parents bought me this one. Um, and so what, I've just kind of collected them over the years and I've moved a lot. Like you guys know that I've moved a lot. And so, um, this is, this is standard for me to do. Okay. So now these, there's three of them here. You see how there's three different hangers on these? This one's mine. This one's my son that's on a mission in the Philippines. And so he didn't want anyone to take his. So he put his own little thing on it. And then my youngest son um, said, Mom, move mine too and pack it. And he put red tape on his because, you know, we might get it mixed up with our brothers. We have the same one. And they wanted to make sure that they got their exact crystals back. Okay. And last but not least is my butterfly. Or is my hummingbird. 
I put the hummingbird on the outside. Now, some people would put it on the inside to protect it more, but actually, I'm either gonna put it on the outside, but I'm gonna wrap it in a secondary item because it's the most breakable. So we'll come back to that. But just like the jewelry, we start wrapping. And this is just so easy to move fragile and breakable things. So now the hummingbird, we're into the center. But I know this seems weird, but see this uh, funky Christmas hat um, with the tag still on it? I didn't realize that. My sons used this this year in a, a little winter thing, and nobody's going to be using it. And so I'm going to take my hummingbird and give it extra protection. And something like a pom-pom that is actually kind of stiff will support it. And see the circle right here? I'm actually going to cushion this thing like that. Then I'm going to roll over it largely. And now that hummingbird will make it perfectly. Um, and it's right there tucked in. So let's add it to my box. And I still have a rubber band here, so let me grab it. Uh, I laid it somewhere. I rolled my rubber band into something, I think, but that doesn't actually matter because this is going to lay in here just perfect. So see how that fits in there really nicely now? Okay, so I can either go for the small stuff. I can start tucking things in here. That one's too big, but like I know these will fit in here. We can tuck some of these. So I hope that this um, jewelry packing tip has been helpful. Thanks. Bye.